Civic turn lane, and then coming back last time uh, on 11.4.3, it was a zero disengagement drive, including the Hartman Boulevard thing. Uh, so we'll see what we get this time. And I'll have bookmarks uh, where necessary, where I feel there was relevant stuff to look at. Uh, I do have a gate video, but those take a little bit longer to post.
far left lane, drives there for about a mile, and then comes all the way back to the right lane. But in this instance, it stayed in the right lane the entire time, even though it ultimately kept me below um, what the maximum speed limit was, which to be honest, given the distance I'm traveling on the interstate, right, I'm basically getting on at one exit, getting off in a couple exits, right? There was opportunities for it to change lanes and eventually work its way out to the far left lane, but it didn't. Um, I don't think it had any noticeable impact on travel time or any of that stuff. Um, so at the end of the day, I actually kind of preferred that because it was less stressful uh, hoping that it gets back over into the right lane in time. than average. I don't have minimal lane changes on, so it's not like it, it chose not to do the maneuver because I have it set not to do the maneuver. It just, it chose not to, which I find interesting. I think I need to clean my rear view camera. So the profile is set to average. I set it to assertive and then back to average just to show the minimal lane change thing, which is off.
Now this one used to be three lanes. Sorry, no, this used to be two left turn lanes. Now it's three. The center lane, it used to always turn into the left lane, mid turn. It stopped doing that in 11.4.3, but it was still a bit jittery, so let's see how dot four handles it. That turned in the middle of the lane. Now, admittedly, that truck may have had something to do with it because they kept encroaching in my lane, but that's still not what we want. What the hell is everybody lined up there for? And we ultimately need to be in the right lane. I am going to force the lane change. No, okay. Now, yeah, come on. So I was going to do a manual lane change. I changed my mind because it looked like it was going to do it. And then the light changed and the car said no. Because I think there's some logic in there that says if it's going to, if the lane change results in being in the middle of the intersection during the lane change, don't do it. And it'll board. Being in this lane, however, means that I can't test uh, whether or not this is still there, which I'm sure it is. But the result is, is that technically, this is now a zero disengagement drive. So, yep, that's the end of that leg. And this is the second half of the trip, the return leg. light. The issues that I have, or the big issue here is, uh, this is the 570 toll road, this is Harden, and this is frontage. So the goal is when we get to frontage, it has to cut all the way across. And uh, FSD Beta 11.4.3 is the first time that it has done that successfully, but it was slow. Um, so now we're going to go try it again on 11.4.4 uh, .4 and uh, see what we get. And it's a yellow red light now. There was time to go. So I'll, I'll bookmark the actual attempt, but that was the explanation.
watching at red light. accelerator but ultimately it missed so the handling of the green light was good but the follow-through on the rest of the maneuver was not why why that was unnecessary man Now what it's going to do, now that it missed that, is it's just going to get back onto the toll road at the next exit, which is fine.
should probably be trying to get back over to the right lane because traffic is thick enough that there's no benefit to being here. That truck behind me is probably going to close the gap in a second. And then I'll just end up behind the truck anyways. It should be a, a softball pitch back home.
Oh, seriously? Please be an Amtrak. The funny thing is, is technically, had I been able to get on the interstate at Harden, uh, get onto the toll road, the 570, I most likely would have been able to avoid this train. Um, because, well, assuming there is a train, the lights blinking, nothing going by. Um, because I got stuck at the traffic light for about two minutes. Uh, and I wasn't able to accelerate up to speed fast enough, right? So when you zoom out and you look at what can cause various traffic issues uh, and the effects that you have when a maneuver is not pulled off properly, this is one of those things. Had I been able to get on the, to the toll road, I wouldn't have been subjected to the, to the light and I would not be held back by this imaginary train <laughs> that is just making me sit here in traffic. There's no train! <laughs> uh, I don't know why that went down. No, now it's going down again. What in the... <laughs> He's just going to run the red light. Look at him go. P4146E. Oh, I see it now. This is CSX cargo train to the left. And I think he's going back and forth just enough to trigger the, the thing. Oh, this is going to be interesting as hell. Light's green. Are we going to go through? Yes. <laughs> Stupid trains. failed to do it this time. 
it did reroute. I did have to hold down the accelerator to get it to go a little bit faster. And I did still end up on the 570. Um, but as a whole, during the driving, the disengagement was not necessary. So that was end-to-end -end pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's the end of that. Thank you for watching.